Hello guys, I'm Anil, from Anime Recap Channel. I hope you all are doing well, and today's video is gonna be about, that time I got reincarnated as a slime season 1 episode 9. So let's get right into the video. Spoiler ahead, please watch out and take care. A crowd of tense hobgoblins have gathered around Raimuru who is taste-testing meat skewers that have been prepared for him. After careful consideration, Raimuru cheerfully declares the meat good, and is quite happy to have his sense of taste back. While the various hobgoblins, dwarves and ogres are enjoying themselves the ogre's young master has sat down with Rigard, Raimuru, and Kaijin as he explains what happened. Several days ago an army of fully armed and armored orcs attacked the ogre's village without provocation or warning. Though the 300 ogres living in that village were quite strong the sheer numbers of the enemy soldiers attacking them overwhelmed them, the ogres there are all that's left of them. One of the last things that the young master saw before fleeing with as many people as he could was a Majin wearing a clown's mask standing over his father's burning corpse. Since Raimuru's mask looks similar they concluded that they must have been working together, hence their misunderstanding. The most sensible conclusion is that the orcs have been given new power by a demon lord, why they don't know. Raimuru takes the liberty of noting that the ogres have settled into the village rather nicely which leads him to wonder what the ogres plan on doing now. Naturally, the young master's current greatest ambition is to find the leader of the orcs and kill him along with as many of his subordinates as possible. Realizing that the young master doesn't have a plan at all, Raimuru instead proposes that they become his subordinates in the mutual interest of fending off the army of orcs that are wandering around the forest destroying everything in sight. It is something that the ogres need to consider carefully, so the young master goes out to think. The next morning the ogres find their resolve and agree to become Raimuru's subordinates at least until they can hunt down and defeat the orc's leader. As is customary with his subordinates, Raimuru names each one of the ogres. The young master is now Benimuru, his younger sister Shuna, the female ogre is Shian, the elderly ogre Hakuru, the other male is Sue and finally, the hammer-wielding ogre is Kurabe. Once the process is done, however, Raimuru passes out from overusing his magic again and wakes up days later to learn that the ogres have evolved into Kijin and have since been keeping themselves busy inside of the village. Hakuru has taken to bullying groups of hobgoblins and calls it training them. Kurabe has inserted himself into Kaijin's blacksmith team while Shuna and Shian have taken turns looking after Raimuru's unconscious body. The reason why naming six ogres took up so much of Raimuru's magic is because naming stronger monsters takes up vastly more magical power than the weak goblins. Binimuru and Raimuru begin discussing strategy in dealing with their enemy, after having time to think about it Binimuru wonders if the orcs are connected to another demon known as Jelmud who visited their village offering to name the ogres claiming to be a lieutenant in the demon lord's army. Raimuru recognizes the name Jelmud as the one who also named Rigorai and wonders if it's a coincidence. In the meantime, the orc army is making its way to the Lizardman village near Lake Sis. After determining the enemy outnumbers them two to one and that they've already crushed the stronger ogres the Lizardman chieftain concludes that the enemy army is being led by a legendary monster known as a orc lord who is said to devour the fear and hesitation of his subordinates making him a natural leader. Thus the chieftain calls his son Gaburu and assigns him the task of forming an alliance with the goblins in the interest of boosting their numbers. Unfortunately, while traveling to the goblin village on over lizards, Gaburu's subordinates boost the already overconfident Gaburu by commenting that with the name given to him by a demon lord's lieutenant, Jelmud. It's only fitting that he use this crisis as an opportunity to succeed his father as chieftain. Guys this is for today. If you like my video don't forget to like, share, comment below and subscribe to my channel. We will meet again with another interesting video till stay safe, stay happy.